Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Von Karma just broke, and now we're getting some backstory. I was careless. I'm sorry, but you will have to be penalized. I've covered for you in the past, but not this time. <clears throat> Edgeworth! So he killed him because it was a shock like none I had ever known. Me? Penalized? It took hours for me to regain my composure. Suddenly, I found myself in the darkness. I was in the court records room. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went out into the hall and felt my way into the elevator. I pressed the button, but nothing happened. Then, there was a noise. I was in pain. A horrible, burning pain in my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on. The elevator door opened before my eyes. I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. I knew then it was destiny. <clears throat> bang, bang, pull my devil trigger. All of these voices inside of my head. Arms on fire, veins burning red. <laughs> In his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died, never knowing who had shot him. Later, he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. He was fooled! It was the perfect crime. Hmm. He wasn't protecting his son. <laughs> he had no idea. Who would have thought another man would have come to open that elevator door? Judge! What? What are you doing? Do your job! Bring it into this miserable charade! Now! End it! He seems like the kind of guy to say charade instead of charade. Yeah, charade. There you go. Very well. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Yeah, you're right. It appears that we have come to a very long way to the end of this maze. Fifteen years later. Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. You were innocent. You are innocent. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Not guilty. <laughs> Woo, Thank you, <laughs> That is all. This court is adjourned. <laughs> someone help Mr. Phoenix someone uh, slap him on the back just fucking choking on Nick, him Nick, Nick, we did it did you see his face? Von Karma looked even paler than usual he's pretty to be all cool but inside you crushed him, Nick crushed, it was definitely not the confetti he swallowed <laughs> I gotta say, I'm impressed <laughs> it was pretty close though I was sure we had it I know, I was on the verge of tears the whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. Edgeworth! Mm. So, it's finally over, Edgeworth. Right. I knew you'd see it my way! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how to say this. I know, I know. Try thank you. <laughs> I... I see. Thank you, right. Y you're welcome, Edgeworth. Don't mock me. <laughs> I think you could have done better than that. <laughs> mm, sorry. I'm not good at this sort of thing. <clears throat> you gotta learn. You got a lot to learn, Edgeworth. She's got you there. Ooh! Amazing, pal! You pulled through just like I thought you would! I'll never forget this! I owe you one, pal! My throat. My poor throat. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, my cellar went down a bit this month. But who cares? See, Mr. Edgeworth, you should take a lesson from doc from Detective Gumshoe. Let's say Dr. Gumshoe. Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> I... I see. Um. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> I. I feel foolish. 
Don't worry, take it a little at a time. You'll get used to it. It's been 15 years since I've seen Edgeworth this unguarded. Hey, y'all! Lotta! Y'all are great in there. Thank you! Yo, Edgeworth, congrats! Er, thank y'all very much. I knew you were innocent from the start, of course. God damn it, Lotta! <laughs> Just look at you. You wouldn't stick your hand in the cookie jar even if no one was there. Yeah. You were the witness of the first day of the trial, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, well, let bygone be bygone, eh? <laughs> Speaking of which, what are you doing now, Lotta? Who, me? Ah, I went back to college. Give up trying to be an investigative photographer pretty quick. Really? That's too bad. Huh? Huh? Isn't that hot dog guy from the park? Huh? It's over, Nick! My life is over! Wh why the oh, sad geez. face, Larry? What happened now? Oh, Nick! I'm not long for this world! Uh, you don't look sick. It's Keyonce! She she's going to live in Paris! Paris, Nick! She's leaving me behind! Should have seen that coming. Yo, Angie! There you are! Um, yes, here I am. Congrats, Edgy! Here, a little gift from me in celebration! Celebration? That's unusual for you. Merry Buds! You come along tonight, too! My treat, pal! Huh? Uh, thanks! Looking forward to it! Yo, yo, Nick! That's the soup that questioned me! When he says treat, that's not police talk for prison food, right? Right? Uh, I think you'll be fine, Larry. Right. <clears throat> yeah? What's up? That envelope that Larry gave me. It's got money in it. Well, yeah, that's not strange. People give money away to celebrate sometimes. It's $38, right? <laughs> huh? Weird amount. I mean, it's not a little, but it's not a lot either. Thir wait, $38 exactly? Nick! He stole the fucking money. Oh. Wasn't that the exact amount of lunch money that was stolen from Mr. Edgeworth in school? $38? No. No! Larry, it was you! <laughs> what are you so surprised about, right? Huh? He was absent that day from school, right? That doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to that day 15 years ago. They took the day off, but he was bored, so he came into school anyway. And he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. I never was good at history. <laughs> Edgeworth, you didn't know, did you? I suspected. I just couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. Right, you may not know this, but we used to have a saying back in school. When something smells, it's usually the butt. I know, I know. Really right. I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. Well, this sure is an unexpected <laughs> turn of events, eh? Edgeworth. <laughs> mm. You should have told me! Now, now, Nick. It was 15 years ago. Don't you think the statute of limitations has run out, Mr. Edward? I'd say so, yes. Bullshit! The Court of Phoenix Wright is now in session! <laughs> <laughs> there you have it! Uh, where does that leave me? I became a defense attorney because of what you two did! Well, you've always been something of an insufferable emotionless. Yeah, and you get worked up too easily, too. I have saved both of you from <laughs> prison! Uh, death! The death sentence for both of you! <laughs> Man, if only I'd known I'd become a prosecutor! The same goes for me, only the other way around. For the longest time, I thought that I might have killed my own father. I thought that I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor in part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. It's never too late, I might have Edgeworth. taken your job, Phoenix. Edgeworth. Wanna switch right? <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, line up and take a photo. Line up, I'll take a photo. Hey, photo time, let's oh go. Oh my god, this is great. And after that, dinner's on me. 
we get to see the photo? Detective Gumshoe took us out on the town that night. We celebrated Edgeworth's newfound freedom, even though Edgeworth himself was still in detention. Oh! Wait, what? He was declared not guilty, what? No, oh, he's still... Uh, well, on... Oh, okay. Yeah, he's <laughs> still there until they fully pass the papers through. Well, I went a little overboard yesterday. My head hurts. Huh? It's only five. Maybe I should go back to sleep. Huh? What's this? A letter? Hey, good morning, Nick. You are really impressive yesterday. I left to the mountains to continue my training. We'll be back soon after fighting monkeys. <laughs> it made me think about what I'm doing here. I'm a spirit medium. In training, of course. I wanted to help Mr. Edgeworth, too. <clears throat> I wanted to help you. But I couldn't. I was useless. So I decided to go back to my training. I'll become a full-fledged spirit medium, for starters. I couldn't say it to your face, so I left this letter. Goodbye, Nick. Forever. Wow. Goodbye? <laughs> what time is it? Gah! P.S. The first I clogged train for the, the mountains sink. have already left! To the station! Sorry, what? It is P.S. I clogged the sink. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm too late. Ah! Hey! <laughs> Nick? Maya! Uh... So... You're leaving? Yeah. It's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits. And... I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. Be good, okay? <laughs> Wait! What? Uh, I never could have saved Edgeworth without your help. Huh? On the last day of the trial, I heard her. I heard Mia's voice. You heard my sister? Yes. You're better Only... spirit medium than me? How dare you! Only her voice, but still. It was at the very end when I thought we'd lost everything. Well, that's my sister for you. Detective Gumshoe helped and Mr. Grossberg and even Larry. I'm the only one who couldn't help. I was useless, Nick. You took a taser for me. Come on. But you were the one who stopped Von Karma, And you Maya. still got tased, though. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. <laughs> Huh? I didn't do anything. All I did was wander around in a daze. Sorry, but I have evidence that you helped. Evidence? Show Maya some evidence to cheer her up. <laughs> the photo of her dead mom. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no! Polly. She, because she did talk to Polly about that. Huh? Huh? Sorry, Nick. I guess I don't understand. Uh-oh. No, I think about it. I don't understand this evidence either. You have to try and... It's okay. You don't have to try and cheer me up, but... One day I'll come back and be useful, I promise. Oh, no! Did I fuck up? So, this is it. See, See you soon. soon, Maya. Oh. I don't know if we could have done anything there. Thanks, Nick. I feel like we fucked up. And so my story ends. Time to turn a new page. And say goodbye to the novice defense attorney that I once was. Now a new story begins. With the same old crazy cast of characters. Was this the last... M. Mr. Wright, perhaps you would like to rethink that claim. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Objection! Wow, so that was the end. Uh, saving... Edgeworth. Yeah, there are only three missions. Four. Wish you had uh, talk about a pleasant surprise. Whoa. Ooh, Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> then he hung his head low and went right back outside. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda like he was embarrassed or something. Strange, huh? I want to watch the uh, 
Phoenix Wright ma anime now. I want to see oh, there's an Ezra anime? do that. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah. We're watching that. Huh? Nick? I haven't seen him lately. Oh, me? I've been working at the cheese shop. That Missy's a nice lady, but she's not exactly what you call a cheap date. Huh? Oh, she's in Hawaii right now. Yeah. Again, another fucking <laughs> model. I thought he was going to end up with a lot of heart for some reason. That would have been nice, fucking lie. <clears throat> hey, it's Winston! Oh, uh, right? Yeah, I remember him. I hear he's been busy lately. You know, not to ring my own bell, but I sort of taught him everything he knows. <laughs> I'm sure he's grateful. Wow. Ah, don't hit me! Is some- who's asking all of this, I wonder? Ah! Bellboy! A phoenix, right? Hmm. Ah, the defense attorney for whom I wrote that affidavit for, yes. Or you should know I've taken over management of the Great Water Hotel recently. Should you be in the area, please stop by. You can <laughs> you can check out the murder hotel room. Jesus. I had a fucking great time with this. Bah, hmm, hmm. Oh, it's you. Phoenix, right? Ah, yes, me as understudy. Was he not? I wonder how he's doing. I haven't seen much of him late. Ah, the days of my youth. God damn it. Like the scent of fresh <laughs> lemon, you see. Masakazu Sugimori, you did a fucking awesome job. Your song is stuck in my head. Absolutely. God damn you. <laughs> Phoenix Wright! Is he an actor? Well, I'm not buying it. You can't be a star with a name like Phoenix. Did you know they're finally finally... Oh, fuck off. God, what a fucking game, though. So glad we did this. Oh, yeah. That's... We are pleased to announce Big Prince, the Pink Princess in a hit. I sure owe Mr. Wright a great deal. Oh, and I'm keeping my face out of the public till the, sh uh, till the show's over. We don't want to ruin any kids' dreams, you know. It's kinda cool, we've helped everybody's lives in such weird ways. Well, most people. I'm not I don't not I don't think we helped win back, but uh most people. Hey, it's funny. Oh, I got a letter from Maya the other day. It sounds like she caught a cold standing under a waterfall. I wanted to visit but didn't have time, so I sent her some Pink Princess training cards. She says she can't buy them where she is. What kind of place is she living at anyway? <laughs> Manual. Man, there's so few people worked on this game, it's crazy. Was I think you were him, right? Right? Who's that? You know, I stuck into the studio the other day, and I saw her. The one inside the pink princess suit. Uh, what a dog. It's kind of a shock for a boy of my tender age. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Yes. <laughs> Come a paranormal photographer. You know that picture I took of everyone? Well, I just behind them there was a ghost. Mia! For real. Now that's telling. I'm gonna be famous. It was a picture of Mia, wasn't it? Yeah. No doubt. Oh my god, yeah! Victory. Holy shit, Gumshoe is a fucking Hold up, was Gumshoe the dude. one throwing all the confetti? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love this game. Whoa! What? Ah! Turn about Hold goodbye. it, Jerry. Oh my god, we're not done yet! What? Brand new episode has been added. Interesting. Yes! Oh my god, we're not done! Oh, how exciting! Rise from the ashes like a phoenix. Ooh. We get one more, Jerry. A deadly murder. Oh my god, motion! Look at that! I think this is like a DLC expansion or something? 
doubles. What the? Two murders <laughs> happening at once? Yeah, this definitely seems like DS. Whereas previously, I could believe it was Game Boy. What? Wait a minute, is that Mia? Mia's dead, though. It's been two months since Mia left the office. Alright, well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have, so we're going to continue this in the next one. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.